Welcome to Let's Calculate Something. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to study the physical sciences with math. What math is involved in physical sciences, specifically earthquakes. We have um, two earthquakes that we're looking at. Uh, one happened in the Bay Area in 1989. The other one was the most, was the strongest earthquake the world's ever recorded. And that happened in 1960 in Chile. And since we all remember the, the earthquake that happened in the Bay Area because it happened right during the World Series. And so the whole stadium was shaking, uh, people were freaked out, the players stopped, the game, game stopped, that uh, bridge, the Bay Area Bridge collapsed and created a pancake and lots of people got, uh, got hurt, killed. Um, it was a big deal. And then in 1960, we had this quake, which is one of the mo most violent quakes. It was the most violent quake the world's ever recorded. And what we want to know is how much stronger was this quake that happened in 1960 uh, compared to the one that happened in 1989? So that's the question. Now we can't just say, well, 6.9 and you know subtract these or divide them or anything like that because the Richter scale, which is what we use to measure the, the, the strength of earthquakes, um, the Richter scale is a logarithmic scale. So you can't divide it. You have to actually solve out the logarithm and then you can divide by the intensity. So that's what we're going to do. So if we look at this, we have R equals the log of the intensity and R is the Richter scale value, that's what we measure earthquakes by, and I is the intensity. And for, for the Bay Area quake, R was equal to 6.9, we'll call that RB. And for the Chile quake, we call, the, the, the Richter scale was 9.5, we'll call that RC. We're going to need this stuff over here, which will be helpful to us, um, knowing that the, the 10 to the log x equals x, and then this uh, relationship between exponents, where you have x to the a divided by x to the b equals x to the a minus b. That's going to be important for us to solve this. Okay, so let's calculate the intensity of both of these quakes. So we have r b equals log of IB and we'll start with that one first and we know log we know RB was 6.9 so we have 6.9 equals log of IB so IB equals 10 to the 6.9 now we have to do the same thing for RC RC, which the quake in Chile, equals log times IC, and RC is 9.5 equals log IC, and then IC equals um, 10 to the 9.5. Okay, so we have both of these. Oops change colors. We have both of these now. And we used this formula here to get here. Okay, That's what we used. Now, what we need to do is take the ratio of these. And we know 10 to the 9.5 is greater than 10 to the 6.9. So the ratio of 10 to the 6.9 divided by, whoops, so the ratio of 10 to the 9.5 divided by 10 to the 6.9 equals 10 to the 9.5 minus 6.9 and that is 10 to the um, 2.6 Okay, so that, that is our answer, and what, what does that equate to to a number? That's the question. So how much stronger is it? It is 398 times stronger. This quake was 398 times 
398 times stronger than the quake that happened in the Bay Area. And that's our answer. So we're able to use logarithms, we're able to use a couple of different relationships for logarithms and exponents. We're able to figure out how much more intense the world's strongest earthquake was than the one that happened in the Bay Area. Thanks for uh, watching. Um, please subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell so that you can be aware of the different videos we do. You can see things from the realm, ranging from differential equations all the way to pretty simple algebra. Um, and we have that. And then also, if you can leave a comment, give us some other challenges. Give us some other questions you might have. We'll try to solve those and put the answers in the comments. If we pick your, uh, your question or your, your challenge and solve it on a video, we'll give you credit for it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.